Hi, my name is Tanisha and I'm the barn manager here at camp, which means that I get to take care of all of the animals in the barn and oversee the summer barn staff. When I look back on my life and all of the things that God has led me through and to, I can't help but praise him and be so incredibly thankful for everything he's done in and around me. Psalm 77 11 says, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. One of the easiest ways that we can have a heart of thankfulness is by remembering. My childhood was a pretty happy one. I grew up 20 minutes from the ocean in New Brunswick all the way over on the east coast of Canada. We spent the majority of our summers at the beach with our friends and our winters were spent at the rink almost every day because me, my brother and my dad all played hockey or ringette. My younger brother is two and a half years younger than me and we grew up with both of our parents. At one point, we even had one cat and one dog. I remember thinking, wow, we have the perfect family. Neither of my parents know Jesus, but they were both raised in religious homes. They both had pretty rigid and somewhat hard religious upbringings, so they didn't want that life for us. We didn't grow up going to church or knowing who Jesus was. It wasn't until I was in high school that our happy home began to feel a lot heavier. I'm not sure if it was just because things were getting so bad in my parents' marriage, or if it was always really hard and I was just starting to realize because I wasn't a kid anymore, but I started to notice the lack of respect and love between my parents. By the time I was in grade 10, they were sleeping in separate bedrooms. Interestingly enough, it was right around this time that I first got invited to youth group by some friends. It was a huge youth group, and the main appeal for my friends and I was how much fun it was because it was so big and there was lots of fun things to do. By spring of my grade 10 year, I had accepted Jesus one night after our small group time. Honestly, I don't remember a lot about why I made that decision or how I felt during that time, but I do remember feeling like something had obviously changed within me and I just wanted more of Jesus. While a lot of my friends stopped going to church or youth group, I decided to stay connected. That season in my life was so clearly orchestrated by God that I can't help but be thankful because my parents told us they were separating that summer just a few months after I asked Jesus to be my savior. Having Jesus in my world during the season of my parents' separation meant that I had him to lean on when my whole world was being shaken up. In a season of instability, he became my stability, my rock. I quickly learned that even though everything else changes and moves and shifts, he is the one constant that I could count on. I was basically living out of a suitcase for the next couple of years. We were living with my dad one week and my mom the next, back and forth, back and forth. Fast forward a couple of years, I graduated, and then I fell into a cycle of trying to figure out my faith and my future plans, while also developing some pretty unhealthy habits in order to feel better. Through all of this, I still love Jesus. He just felt so far away. I had no idea how to rely on him for what I needed, but I kept asking him and he kept showing up. As a young adult, I was still attending church from time to time, and my grade 12 small group leader has started going out of her way to meet with me regularly to help guide me. She was the same age as my mom and quickly became my mentor. The way God brought her into my world was amazing, amazes me. She was exactly what I needed in a season of feeling lost and without guidance. God had also brought a couple of key friends into my world during this time, and several of them had already graduated from Briarcrest Bible College in Saskatchewan. Over the course of six months, I had affirmation after affirmation that I was supposed to attend Bible school in the prairies. So even though it made very little sense and I was completely terrified to move so far away from home, my dad and I packed up my car and he drove me across Canada. Since then, I graduated from Bible school, I moved to Winkler to be with my boyfriend Steve, we got married and have been on a bunch of crazy adventures ever since. Our most recent and exciting adventure is being here at camp with all of you guys. I never could have dreamt that I'd get to have a job caring for a bunch of animals. It's really the coolest thing, but God is really the only one who knows what's best for us. He brought me through so many things to get to this place, and I can't help but look back on this journey with so much awe and thankfulness. He is so, so good to us. First Chronicles 16:12 says, remember his marvelous works, which he has done. 